What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Jamel Munger, man. Before we even kick off this video, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe, man. Let me know you're here. Um, hey, if you've already been subscribing, man, I just want to say I appreciate you for tapping in. Appreciate you for clicking on this video, man. As you see by the title, man, I got a lot of new parts or well, new used parts for the um, 87 Monte Carlo T-Top. Um, I just wanted to show y'all some of the trims and some of the, you know, things I got out of this little deal. Um, and here we go. All right, guys, so here is what I got out of the deal. A nice set of original SS wheels. One of them is missing the little Chevrolet center cap. But aside from that, still a good wheel. Obviously, I'm gonna get some different tires, but actually these tires are not even bad at all. Um, sorry for being blurry, I'm shooting on the iPhone. Uh, I got a console. Uh, bread box got a lid with it all this stuff gonna need to be reupholstered and clean i'm just laying it out right now just to show y'all this goes up under the dash i got my dash on the inside of the crib uh, i don't need this i already got that with my dash i didn't need that but i got it anyway um i don't know exactly where these trims go right now but i know i need them um just like for the pillars for that part right there uh, if y'all know what this is, let me know. Uh, I don't think I've seen it. He said it was for like the hide the wires or something somewhere. I don't know. But uh, I think that goes for like the dash. Uh, like I said, pillars. All this stuff is in pretty good condition. It's just faded. Um, I don't know where this goes. I forgot what the dude said it goes, but I grabbed it anyway, bro. Like, whatever. I got some visors. Um, like I said, all this stuff is going to probably get redone. Either it's painted with dyed or re-leathered. I don't know. I don't know what I got planned for yet, but I just needed, I know I needed these parts. Um, upper and lower uh, door panels or whatever. Um, even got the little hand rest or whatever. Um, the rear panels, upper and lower. And like I said, I got the dash on the inside. So this is a big for me um, because like I said, my car didn't have any of this stuff on the inside. You know, no panels or whatever. I got, I had a door panel over there, but I still wanted to just get one that matched. Um, like I said, I got the rear panels too. I just wanted, uh, you know, extra set, I guess. Um, I think this is what he was saying that was. Well, I already got that too. Um, yeah. I just wanted, I really didn't need any of that stuff. Now that I'm looking at it, I already got this. I already had this kick plate. I was asking him about that because I wanted all this stuff to match. I already had the ECM um, cover or whatever. Like I said, I already got a dash. I just grabbed it just because. I mean, I ain't really care too much. I guess this is what the other stuff was right here. Yeah, this is what that was. Basically, all these parts, I already freaking had them. Uh, except for the visors and like the door panels for the driver's side. I told the dude, I was like, I don't even really need all this stuff. But well, he taught me like a crazy deal. I definitely wanted that. Definitely wanted the visors and the doors. But I already knew I had that. I didn't know I had these. I would have left those there, but I still use them. But this was really the, the home run right here. I'm taking the high rocks off until summertime. Uh, and I'll put these up there. Um, as far as like, while I'm taking the high rocks off, I want to get back here. And clean up all this stuff um you know maybe spray it up i just wanted everything to look kind of black and it's looking a little rusty or whatever but yeah i know everybody hate this but i'm gonna paint this caliper red uh and everything else is gonna be black um until i can change my, to disc brake all the way around but yeah let's see what did i do recently Monte Carlo. Oh, I'll put the brake pedal in. Uh, I ordered this brake pedal a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, put it in. I don't know if y'all can see it back there, but it's in that little pin right there. But yeah, all this stuff, I gotta get this stuff situated, bro. I don't know what the heck any of this is, but I'm just trying to get it running so I can move it around and drive it to the paint shop. Um, I feel like I keep making the same type of videos, but 
just for those who are new to the channel and just their first time watching my channel or video or whatever uh the last thing I bought this car as a roller uh it didn't have nothing in it it still don't have a drive shaft but we working on that um i didn't have no motor no trans uh, this is what's up under it right now the only thing that i've done I got a brake booster. I got to connect my lines. Now that I got the brake pedal back on, it's been shooting out uh, brake fluid, but I'll put those back on. I put the engine in, the transmission in. Uh, it all came together. I just sat it, both of them in the engine, I mean, in the uh, car. Uh, I put this belt on. It's a little slack. I want to get another one. Uh, I put this belt on. I put this radiator in, brand new radiator. Don't even got no cooling in it. It's I, I just ain't put it in there yet. Brand new carburetor, brand new intake, brand new distributor. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I got these headers from the same guy that I got all this stuff from. I went to his crib and got the headers. Because when I put the car in the shop to get it running, I needed some headers to put on it. But, yeah, went and got those headers. Uh, new battery. I'm going to change that reservoir to, like, a either a metal one or, like, a just a nice new clean one. Uh, I gotta hook this power steering pump up at some point. Uh, trying to think. I don't got my key right now. There ain't nothing in the trunk but a spare tire. Uh, yeah. When I went to the shop, they put those gauges in. You know, just something right now just to make sure my stuff ain't overheating and I got oil pressure. But yeah, we're still working. Uh, this thing right here got the job done. If you follow my channel you know i just got this when i came home in november uh this is my first time driving it to virginia uh, it did pretty good um on the previous video like the same issue the, the gauge cluster don't work on the inside uh it worked this weekend when i was driving but it does not work right now so gotta get that fixed but overall this is a sound vehicle i cut the muffler off so right now it's straight pipe um but i'm about to put this super 10 up there just to you know tone it down a little bit because it's really loud i'm not even gonna lie this right here is the uh, monte carlo accelerator cable and that's what i'm gonna be putting on today um i'm waiting on my uh what is it waiting on my little throttle cable bracket for the carburetor um if you don't know what that is i'll throw a picture of it the one i ordered off ebay cheap cheap so it just sits right here on these two little studs right here and then you just basically hook it up right there put your return spring right here and then yeah a little throttle cable i assume it go right there we'll figure all that out but yeah i just got to hook it up to the driver uh driver side accelerator pedal the only accelerator pedal and yeah that'll be today's task clean all this stuff up and i'll get back with y'all on an update but i appreciate you for tapping in man y'all stay tuned all right, guys, like I said, man, trying to get this throttle cable on. If you see this right here, throttle cable. Sorry about all these wires. They go up to that little thing right there. Look at it. You see it moving? All right, boom. Just a little throttle. Little cable right here, and it's going up through my firewall. Look, tip of my finger. You see the little light on my finger? Yeah, that's where it's going. So I need both my hands to do this real quick, but all I'm doing is putting that little slot, put the wire through there, and then pushing this little black pin right here through there. That's all I'm doing. And then the rest, I'm gonna have to wait until I get my throttle bracket for the carburetor, which is coming in, should be Friday on February 25th. And then I'll be able to take a slack out. My gas pedal will be sitting up like that. And then, you know, you push the gas pedal down, pull the throttle cable, boom, boom, easy stuff. But I'll turn y'all back on when I get this joint connected. All right, y'all, just that fast. The joint is in. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's, yeah, like that. And, uh, yeah, normally, you know, your throttle is going to be up like this. But since I don't have my throttle bracket on right now, normally, you know what I'm saying, that little joint, that little whatever you want to call it, that thing will be up against the firewall. And then you, you know, hit the gas. It goes to the floor. It's going to come out which pulls that wire out. And then when you go out here to the carb, my throttle bracket, when it come in, it's gonna sit on these two studs and then, you know, hook this joint up right here. 
I don't think it's supposed to have this like much bend in it. I don't know if it'll be that big of a deal, but hopefully it won't. But yeah, I get that bracket and you just put it here, get your return spring. So I'll get that, you know, that ricochet, how you need it. But yeah, I think this, this one might be too long. I probably have to go back to O'Reilly's, but we're gonna see once I get that throttle bracket on. Y'all stay tuned. All right, boom. Got this little grommet thing in there, so you gotta push it in there so it'll click. So now, like, I'm pulling it out, it's not gonna come out, you know what I'm saying? Um, once that's clicked, you know what I'm saying? Now we we good. Just gotta get the, the bracket. Everything's good. It was like a little grommet, not on this side of the firewall, but on the inside, you gotta, like, snug the grommet back up. So it'll be like a little seal, I guess. But yeah, pretty simple stuff, man. Uh, Y'all stay tuned for the last little bit of this video. All right, guys, I'm outside with it. About to clean up the interior parts just to get y'all a close up, man. This stuff is pretty dirty. So hopefully we can get some, this is what it looked like before. You see all that dust and stuff. Hopefully we can get all that stuff out. But yeah, we ain't got too much daylight left. And like it's about to rain, so let's see if I can knock some of this stuff out. All right, this blade, y'all. This is my girlfriend. Hey, y'all. She about to help me. Scrub a dub dub interior. Yeah, yeah. With the awesome. That's all you got now. You got to make it work. <laughs> all right. I just pray for real. <laughs> okay, guys. We're just spraying the interior. Not a lot. Just a little bit, according to Jamel. Oh, I mean, it's always going to come on. Let's sit down here. <laughs> it's gonna look better than what it looked like that though. Period. Right, dusty, rusty. Big body bends when my eyes to be dusty. Some of this stuff needs some water. Yeah. That does look good. Huh? So? I said it looks good already. I wish it stayed shiny, man. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it is raining. Alright, got one side. Where the inside out? Huh? You already went, went around the whole thing? I went around that side. Yeah. Alright, let's put the inside of it. A little bit. Hurry up before it starts. Raining, raining for real. Yeah, for real. Is this? Uh, this is like a whole bunch of sun fading going on. This is like, whole bunch of what? Sun fading. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll put water on it. Still got this color. Is this, these are plastic pieces? Mm. Like these pieces right here? Okay, I sprayed them all. Oh, not this one. Yeah, How you feeling over there, sir? Oh. Feeling dirty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looking right clean, guys. We have about 15 parts out here <laughs> for the Monte Carlo. That's right over there, sitting pretty. I sound like a narrator. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we managed to touch every part. Look how dirty that stuff was. Ew. But yeah, it's just like, damn, probably should've got in there. I'll be all right. I'm about to dry this stuff off. And put it back up. 
All right, everything wiped down, dried off. Still doing a little bit of dry. It's gonna get right back ashy. I'll be all right. As long as I got the dirt off.